Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Big Box Farmer here. Yeah? We are on the Millennial Farmer map. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on today, it's 5 past 9. I've got John Deere working on that tractor there. I've got the guys from the trucking company working there. We have to load some trucks. Uh, I believe we have, I don't know if you can see in the far distance there, we have got Dave already working on the fields. We need to get our fields ready. It's the first day of spring. So without further ado, let's go. So guys, yesterday I was working with the tractor on the field and something was going very very strange with the hydraulics. I couldn't get the, the implement to fold up or anything so John Deere just went quickly back to the, the dealer there just to go fetch some parts quickly. Uh, apparently it's got something to do here at the back with the pipes going in at the back. Not enough flow coming through here or uh, that's believe that's what they told me so I was running the storm yesterday as I said and I couldn't fold it up so they are busy fixing that there I've got the trucking guys replacing a turbo on that truck there all expensive things all expensive things while they are busy doing that I am going to take this truck and just move it around here so that we can get it out of the way and then I have to get started I have to get climbing on that uh, using the 8RT and go and do some field work so let's just move this we need to get our fields ready because in about a few weeks time we are going to be in the field starting to do planting Planting corn and soybeans. So let's get ready here. We just need to move this tractor out of the way. We're gonna climb in the 8370. We're gonna start this one up. I don't know what the deal is with that tractor because that tractor has got relatively low hours on it and I don't know if it's the, if it's the, the storm implements that's doing it or if, if it is the tractor but I'm sure John Deere will find out we are going to field 4 here yeah, and going to get that field up and running uh, get that field done so that we can get more or less all our fields in the state where we can be ready for planting Yeah, you guys can see Dave is Busy with this field. Yeah <laughs> uh, Dave is busy with that field. Yeah, so we are going to Just hop over to this other field and Get that field ready So we just arrived on the field, we just arrived on the field, let's just make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be, let's put it down, no, not fold up, put it down, put it down, put it down, we need to get cracking on this field. So we've got field 1 that's finished. I'm going to try and finish field 7 now at the moment. Uh, while I... I think Dave must go to field 4 and finish field 4 quickly. Okay. I will... Let him know just now. Just He's just on a tea break quickly. We just need to get this field done. So 
so that we can start the process of getting our planters ready. So we are on the Millennial Farmer map. This is the very first map that came out. I kind of like this map because the grain dryer works and there's a lot of things that I like about this map that I don't like about the new map. So while those guys are busy busy with that uh, truck, truck inside there just to tell you guys what happened uh, I came back with the truck yesterday from the co-op and it sort of started smoking very badly and uh, I pulled to the side and opened up the bonnet checked the oil and I found that some of the oil was I would say missing but it was not on its level on the dipstick so I put it back phoned uh, I found dad to come and bring uh, oil for me, topped up the oil and started it, drove it back to the to the workshop, to the farm. When we got back there, uh, I was obviously not happy with the smoke coming out of the exhaust. So while rather not breaking the, the, the engine or let something happen to the engine, I rather found those guys yesterday to come and sort out, to come and sort out the the uh, truck for me so that I know that it's hundred percent it's expensive but what's not expensive on a farm running a farm business so we are kind of in the middle of seeing this is not our uh, vertical tiller we are uh, uh, tillage um, yeah, vertical tiller tillage implement whatever you want to call it but we are kind of in the in the in the movement or in the way of seeing what it's doing uh, this field was not I think it was not tilled last year so we are gonna try it because we didn't have a good yield last year on this field so I think it's doing a pretty good job I'm just walking behind him here just to see if I am happy because we don't want a lot of lumps when we are running with the planter through it because we don't want to put extra you guys know what I mean we don't want to do extra damage or extra uh, get the, uh, the uh, depth of the seed going up and down the whole time because we get a, the real thing is what we want to do is we get our field as smooth as possible so we are not going to fertilize this field now uh, now and are doing our nitrogen and our post uh, emerge and stuff like that we are just going to get all of our fields ready so that uh, we can get cracking here so i will be leaving john here quickly i need to get to an appointment We don't normally have so much help on the farm but this time of year and during harvest we get some farm hands but I just need to get to an appointment I need to get to my bucky let's just do this quickly oh good I see the guys are gone Hopefully they've got this thing fixed. We need it fixed. Let's just park this thing here. Come on. I just need to get to an appointment. I think you guys will like this. You guys will love this. Just need to get to an appointment quickly. It's about a tractor. I don't know. Let's have a look and see what it is. I hope you guys will like it. You guys like new tractors, don't you? Everybody likes new tractors. So let's see what is waiting for us to test. What is this? 
Okay. So my buddies phoned me from Airgold and they said they've got a new Jack to Fast to test. This is the new case. 262. This is a new agronomic tiger bait case 255. I'm not worried about that too much. This is why we're here. This is my appointment. This is the new Versatile 610DT. Quite a nice looking tractor. Versatile, versatile. Well, we are here to test it and let these guys know. I see my buddy, my buddy Johnny is here, but I wonder where is he? No, he probably went into to go and speak to someone inside there. Well, we are here. And we are going to test this thing. The 16 Versatile. Let's go and test it. Don't want this thing to land on the truck. Is that too close? No, we made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. So this is the new versatile 16 And we are going to test And see what we think about it. So let's just put it down Quite nice cap the detail in this machine is pretty awesome. Everything works. We've got the the monitor there for if you've got a grain cart at the back to see how much you if grain you've got in your uh, grain cart. Let's just do a couple of rounds here and see what we think about this. This is on our field, by the way, so we're not damaging somebody else's field this is a field we started hiring this year is not our field so we are just going to test this thing a little bit and see what we think about it I quite like the design I like the colors I think it's 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 colorful Sounds pretty nice. Let's just watch out for that electric pole there. Sounds quite nice. And it looks like it's doing a decent job. You've get you uh you get three different or two different uh, size engines in this one. This is a 610 horsepower engine. Uh, no, you machine. idiots, it's a 658 it horsepower. Uh, I will let you guys know the modder who designed this in a bit, yeah? But I really do think that this sector is actually cool. Let's just stop here for a minute. Climb out and just walk around here. Yeah? It looks like it's got the, if I'm not mistaken, it's got the 3D tracks. Is it the 3D tracks? Don't hold me to it. 610DD. Well, we used to John here, ah, John here, um, most of my life. Um, but hey, all of them break and all of them are winners and stuff, so you can't hold it to a tractor, to a specific tractor. I must say, we're not gonna we're not gonna pur purchase it as such but it's once again just something that they brought out to us to have a test this is totally new on the market it is the versatile 16 dt and this was running with a case uh, vertical tilly stool at the back 
I am really loving this. I really am. I am really loving this. So I will let you guys know who is the creator of this of this mod in a moment while we test this year. This tractor is uh, just confirmed 610, 658 horsepower. Uh, by the engine or the PTO, I think it's by one of those two. Uh, it's going to set you back about 410 to, th I think the, the, the expensive one is $410,000. And the least expensive one with not all the trimmings and stuff and all the customization is going to cost you about $360,000. If I've got this correct, all credits to, I think the creators are Carl Farms and KMN Modding. They have done an excellent job with this tractor i we might as a farm we might consider buying this but at the moment we are still happy with our 9r john deere it's doing an unbelievable unbelievable job it's got enough power the aircon inside here is pretty good it's got a lot of features on the tractor itself the monitor, that monitor you can't use, but that you can use. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited. And thank you for, for Ag World to, uh, for us to bring this here for us to test. So uh, yeah, this is really not a bad looking tractor. And that case vertical tillage tool is also not bad, but we are going to stick by green for now. We are done testing here. I really do think it's a brilliant track to this. But it's time for them to take it back again. I am just going to go and have a chat with uh, my mate inside here quickly. I think he's still with this, <coughs> excuse me, with this guy inside here. But guys, really. Go and download this tractor. It's uh, once again Carl Farms and KMN Modding. Uh, please don't shoot me with a gun if I've got the creators of this mod wrong. But I think it's them. And it is a brilliant looking piece of machinery. So there we go. Thank you very much. There that tractor goes. That was brilliant testing once again. Thank you to Agworld. We need to get we need to get back to the farm. But to tell you guys, uh, you can go around to Agworld and if you buy anything there and you mention Big Bucks Farmer, you will get five percent off. You will definitely get five percent off. So as we're heading back here to the farm, hopefully these guys I wonder where are they? Just gonna have a pop in here and see where how are they doing. Looks like they are still busy, yeah? Oh they are quite alright. We need to get back to the farm. We need to go and start that 9RT so that I can help these guys. We're preparing the fields. We need to prepare the field so that we can start our planting season. It is spring now. Let's go and see what's happening at the farm. I'm kind of hungry. I think I'm going to go eat something first. Yeah. I think I'm going to have a quick lunch. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Just going to have something to eat quickly. Now that I ate the old chicken, I think I'm pretty prepared for the day. These guys are gone, so we are going to take this 9RT and go to head to a field just south of us. How's my parking here? Not too bad. We are. Let me just put this truck where it belongs. not smoking anymore so it's that's oh well not that bad it was pretty bad 
the other day, so I'm just going to hook this. I'm just going to hook this uh, tractor back up. Ach, the tractor, the truck back up quickly. I need to go run. I come on. I need to go run the dryer there for some of those corn. Yesterday when we took uh, when we took uh, uh, corn down to the ethanol plant, it was a bit, kind of a bit too wet. So I'm just gonna go to the dryer. We still have some corn to hold for the contract for this year. This is still about 2020s corn. So I'm just gonna let's just go here quickly. Open up the hut. Let's just go in here. If I can fit, there we go. Let's go. That is enter vehicle. Start filling. How much corn have we got left? Just need to run this through the dryer just need to run this through the dryer as i said the corn was a bit wet i'm just gonna let the dryer run for a little bit while we get we get this uh, 9RT up and going i need to head if as i said i need to head to a field just south of the farm so I can get cracking there. Hopefully everything will be going well. Just want to stop here quickly. Just see if everything is alright. Just sort of walk. Just sort of walk through everything and see that... I need to get the moisture to about 14%, 13.5%, well between 14.5% and 16.5% there around. So while that's busy, let's get cracking here, so that we can head to that field. So we've got field 3 done, we've got field 1 done, they are busy, busy on field 4 and they are busy on field 7. I'm go going to go to field 5 now with this and go and test and see if they fixed the problem. There you can see in the far distance the tractors are going. need to get our fields up and running. Oh, he is still busy. Okay, that's cool. I need to... Oh, well, the diesel... I filled the diesel for both those tractors up this morning. And we're about, what, half past one already? So they should be fine for the day. We're just going to head down here to field five. Just to get this field up and going. And running and in a good condition and yeah there's the old glory right there I'm really impressed with that versatile tractor I really am guys go to Airworld and go and look that especially the farmers go and have a look at that test that thing it is a brilliant tractor And the sea is already finished this side. Okay, that's not that's not bad. It's actually a good thing. So we are gonna prepare field five here. Yeah? I believe this is field five. Yes it is. We are going to do field five here. Yeah? As we are starting to get ready for planting season. Guys, once again. Uh, go to Agworld. Anything you buy there, you just name Big Bucks Farmer and you get 5% off of your purchase. So we are going to hop in the field here. 
Let's see if this works, if they fix the problem. Well, it looks like it. I'm just gonna put the ad off here. Go down. And I've asked them to set the disc for me. This thing can set his discs. I can, sorry, I can set the discs from inside the cab. But we are going to leave it like that for now so that I can see how this, if they fixed the hydraulic problem that I was worried about. Well, it sort of looks alright. Sort of looks alright. Not doing a bad job. Well, the only problem we had is we didn't want to fold up and fold down. So, yeah, I thought I broke the tractor, but it was actually something to do with the, at the back gear of the tractor. And see, I'm talking a whole lot of nonsense, and I'm not looking at where I'm driving, and I'm skipping a lot. So as it look, as it look at them, luck in the, let's just, let's just, let's just do something quickly. Then I can talk to you guys properly. Let's just go and put this on. Put my uh, automatic with. Just get the GPS started, yeah. Then I can talk to you guys. As long as I want to. Let's just get the GPS right here. I think I have gone far enough. Set B. There we go. Now we can use our GPS. So yeah, what I, what I was saying is uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Well, while we're busy here, uh, I st there's still a couple of things that we need to go and do it back at the farm. I still have to go and sort out the planter. We need to go and pull out the planter uh, and swap that thing over to corn. As I last year, I did not have time to swap it around. We need to clean it properly. We need to fill it with seed so that we can get planting here in the couple of next couple of days we are on early spring here uh, we may as we look at uh, the the crop prices at the moment soybeans is going for a thousand four hundred and thirty nine dollars and seven hundred and sixty one so we might do more soybean fields and corn fields this season but hey we need the money we do need the money so hey guys i don't want to annoy you with what happened there but they are coming to fetch the storm here yeah, something is not wrong oh there john john is almost he's probably going to fill up with diesel quickly uh they are coming to fetch this thing i am not happy with it um sorry you guys didn't catch that I didn't think it would be interesting for you guys to see but they are going to take this back and they are going to get it fixed so just got off the phone with uh, Airworld they will definitely come and pick up that storm tomorrow guys thank you for watching I am just going to put these lights off here I'm just gonna put the lights, lights off, off in the main shop it's about 10 past 9 in the evening I am angry I am tired I think I'm gonna call it an early night they better fix you because we need that thing that's why I really hope they're gonna fix it Everything is off. 
Close the door. So yeah, I really do hope they fix that thing tomorrow. Thank you once again for watching, guys. Um, I'm gonna go eat and go and have a lovely early evening. If you guys enjoyed the content, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It's a brand new channel. Uh, so we can see where we can take this channel. Hopefully the content is good that you guys subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Next episode we've got a lot of things going on. We've got a st we are going to start doing our planting. We're going to get the planter ready. And all start sorts of shenanigans. Anyway, go well. Have a good night.